what is up guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to install plugins that don't have installers so what i mean by don't have installers is they don't have like an installer that you can just click on and then install the plugins so when it comes to these plugins you have to do it manually you have to install it manually so i'm going to show you how to do it now so first of all download the plugin and extract it you know to a folder before we start doing anything all you need to do is open it and check the format so by format what i mean is whether it is a vst3 or a vst2 or another type of format this is very important because it is going to determine what you're going to do in the next step the next thing you need to do is copy the folder sometimes the only thing you need from this folder is the vst3 file although i realize that sometimes when you just copy the vst3 file or the vst2 file the plugin will not work correctly because there are some components here that you need for the plugin to work properly so it is better to just copy the whole folder so this is what i do so i'm going to copy the whole folder and then the next thing you do is go to pc and then when you go to pc you go to your program files and then when you go to program files you scroll down and you find common files now when you open the common files you're going to see these folders now you're going to copy the plugin depending on the format so if it's vst3 you just move it into the vst3 folder or if it's vst2 just move it to the vst2 folder after that the next thing you need to do is go back to fl studio click on add click on more plugins and click on manage plugins and then after that just click on find installed plugins and the plugin is going to pop up in yellow so the reason why mine is not popping up is because i've already installed it before after that all you need to do is activate the plugin by clicking on this star icon and then you can use your plugin so before i found this method i always assumed that any plugin that has this type of file is either corrupt or doesn't work properly so i hope you got value from this video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you also have anything that you want me to do next leave it in the comment section thank you for watching and have a blessed day